heart. In this module, you will learn about the structure of the human heart. You must have often felt a constant lub-dub on the left side of your chest, isn't it? There is a special organ inside the body that makes this sound. Do you know which organ inside the body does this? Well, it is the heart that makes this sound. It pumps blood throughout the body. Let us move further inside the body and find out where the heart is located. The heart is a muscular organ located between the lungs. The lower tip of the heart tilts slightly towards the left. The size of the heart is roughly the size of your clenched fist. Let us now go inside the heart and have a closer look at its internal structure. The heart is made of four chambers. The upper chambers of the heart have thin walls. These are called the atria. The lower chambers of the heart have thick muscular walls. These are called the ventricles. A thick muscular wall separates the chambers on the left from the chambers on the right. It is called the septum. The septum prevents the blood in the chambers from mixing with each other. Now that we know the basic structure of the heart, let us see how the heart pumps blood to the rest of the body. The heart first receives the oxygen-rich blood from the lungs with the help of pulmonary veins. The heart then supplies this blood to all the body parts with the help of arteries. Once all the body parts take oxygen from the blood, the heart receives the carbon dioxide rich blood through the veins. From the heart, the carbon dioxide rich blood reaches the lungs with the help of pulmonary artery. Through this channel, the heart continuously pumps blood from the lungs to the heart and then back to the lungs. This is how the heart pumps blood throughout the body. Let's recap. The heart is a muscular organ located on the left side of the chest. The heart has two upper chambers called atria and two lower chambers called ventricles. A septum separates the left side of the heart from the right side. The heart receives oxygen-rich blood from the lungs which it then sends to all the body parts. It also sends carbon dioxide-rich blood from other parts to the lungs. Blood is continuously transported from the lungs to the heart and then back to the lungs.